Hi everybody, um, it's Marissa. Um, this vlog is probably going to be a ranting slash venting slash maybe depressing if if you really care about me. So let's see. Um, I need to put my hands on because I feel important. Um, if 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 you haven't already noticed, I, I have a major speech, well it's not major, I think it's major, a speech problem. I stutter. I hate it if you don't know what stuttering is. Open a new tab. I will look it up for you because I'm such an awesome person. Anyways, so this vlog is going to be me on... How? Oh, shit. Shit. I gotta log out of that. Um, this log is going to be mainly about me, my problem, and what I think about it, and I guess myself as well. See? Um, the web definition of stuttering, I don't know what site this is off of, it's just I googled it and it popped up. Um, to talk with continued involuntary repetition of sounds. So yeah, and then I see this one, it says to speak or utter with a spasmodic repetition or prolongation of sounds. Basically, I involuntarily, well, I talk, but I involuntarily repeat sounds or I'll prolong or hold out one sound or a letter until I can get the damn word out. Or until I give up, and usually I give up. I never get the word out. I give up. Anyways, um, it's, it's, in my opinion, it's, having stuttering is worse, is one of the worst things in my life. I mean, it's the number one cause for me getting bullied. See, I just stuttered, see? It's the number one cause for the reason that I'm bullied other than the way I dress and the music I listen to. But as long as I keep my mouth shut and I don't tell people, Hey, I listen to a band sevenfold. Who is that? Metal band. Oh, you're a devil worshipper. As long as I don't fucking open my mouth, then the only thing I get made fun of... Fun... That's not gonna make sense. The only thing that people... That's not making sense. The only thing that people will make fun of me for is the way I talk. And son of a bitch. Um. So yeah. Um. Uh, so I can't remember exactly when I was diagnosed with the stuttering problem, but I do know that my earliest memory of it, at least being made fun of for it, was in third grade in science class. The teacher asked us what the definition of wind was and it's the movement of air. I want to answer it because I knew the answer and all I had to say was movement of air. I couldn't say it. I said move but the second M I fucked up and I sound like a retarded cow for like 30 minutes. So um, no I, I if if I can remember correctly, I cried my ass off at lunch that day because it was the first time I'd ever been laughed at. I'd been laughed at before, but it's because I, you know, fell or I tripped or I ran into a wall or bullshit like that. And, you know, I can understand I wasn't pissed. What does that say? <laughs> um... You know, I can understand why I was being laughed at, and I laughed too, but, you know, for something that I can't control, you know, I, it's, it's really depressing. And it's ruined my life. You can call me overdramatic, but it's ruined my life. Um, 
I, I don't talk to certain people in my family because they don't know about my speech problem and I don't want them to know. I don't talk to, I stop talking to certain friends because, you know, I don't want them to, you know, just, I, I've stopped talking to so many people who've meant so much to me in my life. Um, I've already decided, fuck college, I'm not going to college because I've had, I am, I've endured 11 years, well, as far back as I can remember, I've endured seven or eight years of this fucking torture I get made f fun of it every fucking year of my life and I hate it so much it's it's the one thing that I hate about school so anyways why would I go to college for another you know two years four years or eight years just to get made fun of or for people to give me weird looks or to get laughed at why would I do that I'm not gonna do that that's like that's literally somebody saying oh hey i just endured hell for this long let's go endure more hell for another you know so many years who does that not me i like this gift thought you would like that i do like it oh, no, 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 no. um I've had to remake this video so many times because it's too long, so I'm trying to talk. Um, another bad experience was in speech class last year. Uh, we had to learn to give speeches. And it was only a semester class, and you know I thought everybody was cool. No, I didn't know anybody. So, you know, it, it was safe to say that I thought I was going to stay quiet the entire year. No, not even a week into the class, we had to come up with our first speech. See? First damn speech. And um, the first card that we had to do was quotes. Like our favorite quote, a quote that describes us, whatever. I picked uh, my favorite quote. It's a John Lennon quote. Um, fucking chill. I'm not going to change the way I look or the way I feel to conform to anything. I've always been a freak, so I've been a freak all my life, and I have to live with that. You know, I'm one of those people. I didn't get past the first damn sentence. I didn't get past the first three words. The f I didn't get past going. I I prolonged that G, that first G, for so long. The retarded cow's cousin. I, I was so embarrassed the entire class started laughing at me the teacher was yelling at the class you know, to you know be quiet because it's it was hurtful it was very hurtful I, that was the first day I had to stay after class and that was also the first day that started my new thing in there I would stay after class after every presentation and give my presentation so Eventually kids were asking me why I was staying after class, so I had to, you know, lie and say, oh, I had makeup work, I had to do this, I had to get uh, my sack release slip form signed. I, I had to lie, because I didn't want to say, oh, I can't fucking talk normal, I'm not normal, and I had to give this speech. But eventually they fucking found out, because I made the mistake of telling somebody who I thought was a close friend. Everybody found out. And they all hated me in that class because they thought I was getting special treatment. When I, I guess I was. The can, can you really blame me? I have a speech problem. Everybody in that class was fucking 100% normal. You know, that class was full of those popular kids. So it was just made my life so beautiful. It was just... <laughs> I couldn't. I couldn't. I can't. No. <clears throat> and the fact that there isn't a cure for stuttering just makes life so much harder because knowing that I have to grow up I don't know date try to find a husband or try to find a guy that's husband material it's it's there's a good chance it's not going to happen because of my stuttering problem. Maybe I'll grow up to be pretty and everything and they'll just say, oh, she's a hot piece of ass, I'll marry her for that. It's just... 
when you're as pessimistic as I am and you have so many things wrong with you, it's hard to live. It really, really is. And I know a lot of you are going to think I'm over-fucking-exaggerating. I'm not. Can you imagine waking up every morning knowing with a burning passion that you're not normal? You can't talk, right? It's never going to be cured unless you believe. Because that's what every website says. If you believe, you'll stop stuttering. Um, excuse you, I've been believing since third grade and I stopped just two or three years ago. I gave up all hope. I have no hope left in me. I'm done. I've come to terms with the fact that I am a fuck up both verbally, physically, emotionally, and mentally. I'm never going to get better. There's nothing that I can do. There's nothing nobody can do. To make me happy, because I'm not happy. I, I've never been happy. I will be honest, I put on the f most fakest facade for the people <clears throat> on the site because I don't want them to see me depressed every day. I don't want them to see me drowning in the waking agony of not being normal, of not talking to them. I've had people laugh at me, look at me weird, being pushed into lockers every fucking day of school. No. This website is the one website where I can be happy, where, where I don't have to talk people, where I don't have to talk to people face to face. I can talk to them through a computer. You can't stutter on a computer. Thank you, there has to be a God. You know, and, and, and the fact that I have so many people who look up to me is bewildering. I, I don't understand. You know, I, I do not understand it. Who would look up to a fuck up? Honestly. I mean, I'm not trying to get attention. And I know a lot of you are probably thinking that I am. But I, I promise I'm not. I'm being honest. I would never be anything other than honest with you guys. It's just how it is. I would do anything to be able to talk like a regular person. But I didn't have to worry about stuttering. If I didn't have to worry about fucking up, I would literally get on my hands and knees. I would just do anything to be normal. You have no idea how hard it is to wake up and not be normal. Nobody has any idea. And I wish I had people here to talk to, but I don't. Nobody can understand. I haven't met another stutterer. <laughs> And it's hard to go through every day being the way I am and having to find ways to cope with it without harming myself or anything like that. It's it's beyond hard. It's just hard. And like I said, if there was something I could do, something I could say, a place I could go where I could just be turned into normal, I would be there. I, I, I would fucking walk there. I would do whatever it takes. I will do whatever it takes. Because I'm determined not to be this way forever. I don't want to be the kid that gets made fun of just because she talks. I don't want to be the kid that gets laughed at every time she opens her mouth. I'm tired of it. I've been that kid since third grade. I am sick and tired of it. You know, you don't see me on Oprah or Dr. Phil doing this. No, because nobody cares about a stutterer. Nobody cares about the daily struggles we face. Nobody gives a shit. Nobody cares. You know, <laughs> nobody cares. Nobody cares unless you're either dying or you're drop dead fucking gorgeous. Just, it's, it's a sad reality, but I hate myself, I hate my life, I hate the way I came into this world, I hate who I am, but on the bright side, the one bright side of everything, 
I have an amazing fan base on the, that special website. You know who you are because you're watching this. You guys are literally the only people keeping me strong. I'm, I'm in love with the fact that I can go to you guys on a status or on a video like this one <clears throat> and just vent. I can vent and you guys will agree with me or, or just sit there and just say, hey, she looks lonely and forever alone. It's like this. You guys don't know how thankful I am. I really, <clears throat> I love you guys so much. And I know every author says that and you're probably thinking, oh, they just want more followers. And you're probably thinking, I want more followers. I'm content with where I'm at. I was content with having a hundred followers. I was content with having my inspiration, Sabrina, as a follower. I was beyond content. I was happy. That was the first time I was happy. No, I, I'm hardly ever happy nowadays unless it's fake, but logging onto the site and seeing all the unknowns that aren't full of hate and seeing people say that I'm an inspiration or fangirl when I comment them or something, it, it, it makes me feel normal. It makes me feel good about myself. You know, this video, as I just saw, is getting too long, so I'm going to end it here. Um, if you stuck through the entire video, I, I thank you. I thank you with every fiber of my heart right now. You have no idea how much it means to me. I don't have anybody here in Houston to talk to about this because they just don't understand. As hard as they can try, if they do try, they just won't understand. But you guys, I know, I just know I can try to trust you guys because I love you. I, 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 I really do. You're more of a family than my own family, I promise. Um, before I end this video, I, I have one thing to say to somebody who I owe it to. Um, and I really do hope she's watching this. Lilith, I'm sorry. I'm beyond sorry. I really did fuck up. Like I said, I know how it feels and I would never intentionally do that to somebody. I really wouldn't, but things happen that aren't of my control, and I don't want to hurt anybody else, but I do love you, Lilith. There is no second questioning that, okay? Just, I'm sorry things aren't going the way you want them to. Sorry things aren't going the way they should. I'm just sorry. That's the best I could muster up in what, 18 minutes? Yeah. Well, I gotta end this because I'm probably gonna go eat myself till I'm happy. Bye, guys. Thank you for watching. I really do love you. I promise. Bye.